Precise Dagger Surge. One of the most requested builds that I always get asked, why why can't you run Precise Dagger Surge? Well, the the answer is really easy, is that because like the damage you lose for the crit rate you gain is not worth it since it's kind of ironic that a crit rate in Grieving makes you lose crit rate damage. And if it didn't have that negative, I believe it would be one of the top engravings ever. I think it would overtake Adrenaline. But sadly, it has that negative. But how can you overcome it? Because if you swap Adrenaline for Precise Dagger, for example, you would lose about 10% damage. And that's huge for a Death Blade player. Especially since you only would gain 5% extra crit rate, which is not worth the damage loss. But the meta is always changing and we're always getting new stuff. And for example, almost like everyone now has level 2 set, at least for the crit damage one, from Clown. And we gained 5% crit damage. However, that's, that's not a really a big upgrade. And the reason for it is because we already have too much crit damage. The more you... Like, the more crit damage you gain, the less important it gets. To explain this in a simpler way, let's say you have $100 and they give you $20. That means I increase your overall wealth by 20%. Because 20% of $100 is 20 and that's what I gave you. However, let's say I give you another $20. Even though I give you the same amount, I did not increase your wealth by the same percentage. The reason behind it is because now you have, you already have $120. If I give you a 20 extra, that's only 16% of 120. And let's say I keep giving you a lot of $20 till you reach a million dollar. If I give you a $20 it would be completely meaningless. It would be a really small percentage increase to your overall wealth. That's how crit damage works. And that's one of the, the reasons why you can't take King Blunt in an Entropy class and you would rather have Cursed Doll. Simply because the more crit damage you have, the less damage increase you would get from crit damage. Now that I explained it, Let's see how the build works. So, there is only one plot twist in this build. It would be completely normal. The only change would be in the ingredients. Is that we would not give up Adrenaline. We would give up Cursed Doll for Precise Dagger. And you would ask me, what? You, like, Cursed Doll already increased your overall damage by 13% or 12%. Why would you give it up for Precise that decrease your damage? So now you would be losing too much damage. Well, since you already gained 5% extra from the entropy this like reduced crit damage would be less painful and guess what if we do something with the cards it would it would get even less painful to to get so this card set is really good for precise build crit damage set it's basically and it's really easy to get at it's only 12 piece awakening and you can get it by farming the the guardians i think I, almost everyone now have this maxed since people have a lot of yoho uh, alt so you would only need this uh, this card set we would give up on the other one the one that gives uh, 7% uh, crit rate and you would you would ask what would you do if you have light salvation well then you can pick light of salvation you don't need this one however if you have lost cliff swap it with this one this one is easy to get you almost got rid of the negative of precise dagger but you lost seven percent crit rate in the process however you lost seven percent crit to gain 20 percent that's a really good deal that's a really good deal especially if you want your search to always crit so this build is really good for you if you're a lone wolf and you always do bugging and it's always random and you you either get lucky with a crit synergy or you don't this build is good for you because it would make sure you would crit your search more than someone who has the best in slot build so that's the only purpose of this build, it's just to make you have less mental breakdowns. However, if you want to know the difference in damage between this build and, for example, a Cursed Doll build or any other build, 
that is a business slot. I already did this, the testing, so you don't have to again. And it's like 10% to 12% damage difference. But this is considering everything crits. So in a perfect scenario where everything crits, this will build 10 to like 12% less damage than distance slot. But we know that that's not possible in real raid. So you do have the potential of out damaging people with best in slot builds just for the fact that you're more likely to crit your surge especially if you're not playing with a crit synergy so this build is more like a consistent damage build for surge like you would have really consistent damage with it and like unlike the other like known 5x3 with cursed doll that one has higher ceilings and lower ceilings as well Sounds like you're fully depending on RNG with this one. You're not fully, you still like need RNG, but not as much as the cursed of build. Now enough talking, let me show you a small DPS test. Yeah, I like the so hard during this uh, small test, but as you can see, the results really decent results, six million per like second, six million damage per second. So the thing I noticed with this build is that it rarely goes below 5.2 uh, million damage per second. However, cursed doll build have way lower ceilings and also obviously has higher ceilings, so it can reach 7.2 million per second and it can drop. To five or four million per second. This build is perfect for you if you're a lone wolf. It's budget as well, so why not try it?